Hello guys, Calmir here, and uh, so we have the new patch that came out earlier today. I apologize that this video is coming so late in the evening. Um, summer is very active for me, so I haven't had a chance to actually sign on until now. Uh, so rather than uh, come up with something grand or whatever, I'm actually just going to go over a couple quick tips. You've probably have seen most of these before, um, but I'm also going to go ahead and give a short tutorial on light switches uh, for those that are interested. I think it's probably going to be one of the best features of this. Um, not necessarily the best feature, just one of the good ones. Um, so taking a look at the uh, pistons, there are two types. There's the regular and sticky pistons. Sticky pistons just require a slime ball. Um, and I think that this right here, what I have set up, is probably going to be the most efficient and effective method of using the pistons. And that is going to be water control, water uh, controlling the direction that water travels. Um, now all I have is this is reversed, so that one's actually on even though the switch is off, and then this one of course is off. So when I switch this, it changes the water flow. A very simple setup. Um, you know, where you actually put your redstone wiring doesn't matter. It's very simple. It's basically just two pistons uh, blocking off water. Both of them are facing the corner. Um, there might even be an easier way to, f to set these up that's a little bit different, but I think that's going to be uh, really good. A lot of people are going to use that to control water flow. I think that is going to be the strongest suit for these pistons. And a prime example of that is all of those that were asking about the uh, automated wheat farms. Um, one of the reasons I didn't like them is because you have to climb all the way up to the top just to put either put the water source or unplug a water source and then go all the way back down, collect your resources, um, and then replant everything. Now you'll still have to replant everything, but now you can be at the bottom of your hill with a long redstone trail and you can just simply hit your switch, let the water flow, go get yourself a drink, come back, turn off the water, and then go replant all your stuff. So that's definitely going to improve. Um, unfortunately, uh, I kind of feel the same way about pistons that I do about redstone dust and minecarts. Um, people are always asking if I'm going to do, a, you know, want me to do a redstone project or um, uh, minecart stations. And some people have commented about what they want to see. You know, they want to see what I'm going to do with the pistons. I actually haven't played around with pistons. Um, I've seen the mod, I've seen what other people's have, uh, people have done, but I've not actually messed with them myself. So that's kind of what I have set up out here is I was just kind of messing around with them. And I don't know, it, it's one of those things where there's a lot of different things that can be made with them. There's going to be a lot of people making different tutorials out of them. So it's going to be flooding YouTube with piston videos now of people making things and so you know, I, I've got a feeling it's going to be really easy to find what you want and it's going to be really hard for me to make something out of pistons that everyone would, uh, would enjoy. So if I find something that's like really useful um, on no matter what server you join, it's really awesome, really cool, really useful, I will definitely uh, note that and maybe show you guys how to build something like that. But for the most part, you know, if you're looking for a way to control water flows, it's very simple. There's going to be tons of videos. If you're looking for a way for a dead-end hallway to open up and, you know, the walls move out of your way, there's going to be tons of videos for that, I'm pretty sure. So I'm probably not going to do a lot of videos. If I do make something that that will y benefit from using pistons, I will definitely install them. I'm, I'm not hating on pistons. I love pistons but I'm probably not going to do specific projects that are, are piston related. Um, so let's see, pistons break anything that's not a solid block. So you could use it for that, but eh, I don't know. If you had a reed farm, I think it'd be easier just to go run down smacking all of them instead of setting up a whole line of pistons that you would just have to run down anyway because not all reed falls into the water. Some of them, sometimes they fall on top of the reed itself. So, um, that's that. Uh, over here I was working on a project. This is sort of like an elevator, but I found it very ineffective and very comp it's going to be very complicated if it ever actually works. Um, and the reason for that is, first of all, you only double your block size and you start at the top. So even though this is three, we're going to go up six, but we start on the third level. So 
you're only going three. <laughs> you have three blocks, you stand on top of them, you go up three blocks more. It's not very effective. It takes up a, a bit of room. The other thing is, the way that this is set up is, or that you would have to set this up is, as a delay, this one would have to push first before this one is pushed, and then this one would have to push second before that one's pushed. So you'd have to have a delay between them being activated. Well, the opposite to come back down you have to go the opposite way you want this one to deactivate first then this one to deactivate and then this one to deactivate last so they climb downwards um, so it doesn't quite work as well and there's also a thing here I'll show you real quick going up and then if you go back down uh, that's not the glitch that's because my redstone wiring is messed up because I was trying different things but this top one is a sticky so it should stick to that top. Uh, this middle one is a sticky, so it should stick to the top one. This one is also a sticky. The pistons are only sticky on the way down. So when I when this one goes down, um, okay, it pulled the top one or the middle one. But even though so this one is also sticky, it was not act being act or it was not moving and basically it was not retracting and so it was not sticking to that one it only sticks when it's retracting since that was already closed it didn't stick it didn't pull that one down so I mean if anyone has any ideas on this or find something working uh, that would be awesome but I don't know how effective it would be or efficient um, so I kinda gave up on it myself um, so that was another little just a little test I was doing now over here um, I built this because I was expecting it to be daylight, but if it's turning nighttime, that may actually work out better for me. Um, but I was using this to just block off the sunlight. Um, what I'm going to do is, this is going to be my second, besides controlling water flows, this is going to be my second favorite thing that um, pistons are going to be used for. And it's light switches. And this one I'm going to do is on the floor. And to do floor one, uh, make sure I use sticky pad or sticky piston. We'll put that down and then I'm going to put a block in front of it. And this block can be anything you want as long as it's not flammable. I am going to grab a lava bucket, uh, excuse me, lava bucket and place it there. And then I'm just going to whoops, actually I want dirt there. I'm just going to cover all this up. So dirt, dirt, and I'm also going to cover the source, not the flow. Like that. And glass Okay, so now I have a light. Um, now this, I used lava because it's brighter. It's a 50, uh, light level is 15 instead of 14. Plus it flows. So this lava, even though the source is here, flowed over one. So this is my light source, not the actual lava source. So that's 15. This glass is 14. This empty space above the glass is 13. So this is the best way to light something up. Uh, if you don't want monsters, is always on the floor because this starts at 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. So monsters cannot spawn here, but then you count backwards the other way. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, um, 13. So this is where I would have to build my next lava, way over here. Um, redstone, you would have running under your floor somewhere, doesn't matter where. This does not have to be a wall or an enclosed area. The only reason I had it enclosed again was because I was going to show you it when the sun was up, but since the sun's down, we can open it up. So in the middle of your floor, uh, you would just have glass with lava, and your redstone wiring would lead over to a wall somewhere, wherever you feel like it, so that when you hit the switch, it pushes the block in front of the lava, blocking the flow. When you pull it back, the sticky pulls the um, cobblestone back and the lava can flow back over again and you have your light switch. Now this can be done the same way no matter what. It can be done in the ceiling, on the floor, or in a wall. So actually let me go ahead and see I'll break this and recollect this lava. Get my torches and I will show you dug this little tunnel over here um, so that I can show you in the ceiling. So again, it's going to be two deep and four wide. 
and sticky piston make sure that it's facing where your lava source is going to be grab some stone there um, now this one I'm going to do different I'm actually going to put the glass first because I don't want the lava flowing on me this is the dangerous part uh, let's hope I don't die I'm going to move that closer to the lava bucket there we go okay so that flows over um, I need to activate that. So again, in your ceiling you would have redstone wiring, but since I'm down here, I've got to do this a little bit. Nope, not like that. It's got to be on the block. There we go. Put a lever on it. And close it all off. Okay, so now I have a light switch here. And lastly, Whoa, darkness. Uh, let's see, we can do it in the wall. So again, go too deep. And sticky piston. Gotta make sure it's facing sideways, like that is perfect. Block those two off. Um, glass. Lava bucket. So that flows over. Uh, let's see, how can I turn this one off? There we go. That turns that one off. Uh, and I'm just going to put these here to hide that torch's light. So if I have a lever, again, redstone wiring is going to be all behind the wall. It's up to you where you put it. Okay, but basically the bottom line is when the redstone hits the, the piston, it. So you go, you have the one in the ceiling, you have the one in the wall, and you have one in the floor. Um, now again, uh, I think these pistons are awesome. Uh, awesome. I would definitely put one down, like I would put them in my monster spawning pad. Uh, each spawning pad would have one glass with the lava shining through it. Um, redstone wiring would just be a whole bunch of long wiring that leads to each one of the pistons, nothing complicated. And then like I could put a switch up here where I could just turn on and off. Now I'm on peaceful right now. Um, because I'm in my own world, but if you're playing on a server, um, you would definitely love being able to have that. I'm not going to build it on this world because I have no reason to turn this on or off, and if I need to, I can always hit peaceful if I absolutely have to, but if I was on a server, I would definitely love to have those lights in my spawning pads. Um, let's see. Also, the other thing that came was the shears. The shears are nothing special. Um, if you hit a sheep with a shear, you get more wool than if you kill it. If you punch a sheep, you don't get any wool anymore. And wolves will only, uh, is basically killing a sheep. If you send your pet wolf after it, it will hit the sheep, but it won't shear it. Once the sheep dies, you get one drop instead of multiple drops. So shearing is now your best option if you're looking for a lot of wool. Um, you can also get blocks of leaves. Uh, you simply hit a tree. Uh, or hit the leaf blocks with your shears and you can get leaves. Leaves will decay if they're not touching a wood block or other leaves that are connected to a wood block up to four blocks away. So if I put a leaf block here, it's going to decay. But if I put one, two, three, four leaf blocks, they won't decay because they're, they're still touching wood. Um, you can use this to make a um, uh, like hedges or improve your other trees if you have an ugly tree somewhere. But you can dig a hole, put a log inside the hole so it's under the ground, and then you can put leaves all the way around it so that it looks like a little bush or a little hedge. Um, so those are my thoughts on the new uh, the new update, and uh, it looks like it's going to be fun working with the pistons. I d uh, I do have another idea of what I want to build with pistons. It's going to be something that's more fun, like this um, dangler. It's not really going to be beneficial, it's just going to be for aesthetics, it's going to be something fun to look at. So I'll build that off camera, I'm not going to make a tutorial for it, I'll just kind of show you how it works. Um, so I'll, I'll definitely do that just for the fun of it. And uh, I'll continue working on other tutorials that are actually uh, beneficial, such as like, um, I actually cleared this area, I'm going to make a tree farm up here, is what I was planning on doing with this. So I'll do that, and that'll probably be my next video. I will see you then, and um, thanks for watching.